If you've been waiting for Samsung to expand its One UI 8 beta program beyond the usual countries, brace yourself, you might be in for a letdown. According to recent activity in Samsung's official community forums, the One UI 8 beta program will likely remain limited to just seven countries, the same ones we've seen in previous years. If you were hoping for a wider reach this time around, it looks like Samsung is sticking to its tried and tested beta strategy. Right now, dedicated One UI 8 beta forums are already live in five key markets. Germany, India, Poland, United Kingdom, United States. The other two, China and South Korea, are expected to go official soon as the company prepares to kick off the participation phase in those regions as well. So far, there's no indication that Samsung plans to open up the beta to more countries despite demand. This follows the same pattern seen with One UI 6 and One UI 7, where the beta remained tightly focused on regions with the most active user feedback communities. That said, One UI 8, based on Android 16, is still exciting in its own right. While it won't completely overhaul your device, it promises refined tweaks and optimizations that could make a big difference in everyday use. And unlike last year's late rollout, this one is arriving sooner than expected in line with Android 16's earlier debut. Bottom line, if you're in one of these seven markets, you're in luck. Samsung users, you might want to sit down for this, because the battery fix we've all been begging for might finally be on its way. After months of frustration with One UI 7's battery drain issues, early signs suggest Samsung is finally taking it seriously in One UI 8. And this time, they didn't announce it, the leaks did. Tipster Tyron Vats just dropped another gem on X, revealing screenshots from a Galaxy S25 Ultra running a beta build of One UI 8 ZYEJ. The phone was set to quad HD resolution, connected to Wi-Fi, and still pulled off 7 hours of screen on time with 22% battery left. That's not just decent, that's powerful. Tyron even emphasized in his tweet, very strong. Not just in battery numbers, but in real-world performance. That matters more than any spec sheet. So could this be the comeback story for Samsung's battery performance? Too early to call it, but the signs are looking solid. If these gains survive the jump to the stable build, One UI 8 might just redeem Samsung from the battery fiasco of One UI 7. Fingers crossed, because if this holds up, Galaxy users are in for a serious upgrade, not in hardware, but in day-to-day -day endurance. And honestly, that's the kind of update that really matters. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.